What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and this is Simply Must Go and today I'm with my youngest son and we are hitting up Gulch's. Gulch's is an ORV park in South Carolina. It's also uh, a brand new and the only place that you can get a Jeep badge of honor. Um, so we're gonna hit the trail today. We're gonna try and get our, uh, our very first Jeep badge of honor. But this ride today is actually uh, to support veterans. It's Veterans Day uh, and so this is a, a basically a ride they're doing the whole day. The proceeds go to support veterans. There's some raffles. Should be a pretty cool day. We're probably just gonna hit uh, the easy and moderate trails because we are still with my brand new uh, 2018 JKU. It's still completely stock. So we're gonna kinda get a test run uh, and feel for how well it does stock before I start putting a lot of modifications on it. So anyway, join us today. We're gonna have a lot of fun and uh, we'll see you on the trail. All right, so I really have no idea what to expect uh, on this. I've, I've heard a lot of people, I've heard it's great. It's an amazing place for everything from beginners and stock to uh, experts and buggies. So there's a lot of trails here. We're gonna start by following the green trail, see what that's like, and then kind of step it up from there if we feel like that's still a good idea. We've also got Captain with us, and you can see that Captain's in kind of a sad state. He um, got neutered, and so he's got his cone of shame on. He's not feeling so hot. So we thought we'd take him with us today so he didn't have to spend his whole day sitting at home alone. That would be kind of a bummer. So anyway, Captain's with us. He's, uh, he loves just chilling in the car, so hopefully this will be a good day for him too. All right, we've aired down. Uh, I've put it in four high. We're gonna disconnect the sway bars so that we don't have to worry about that. And that way later I can always throw it in four low if I have to, and I can always put on the lockers because we've got the Rubicon. But I don't know that we'll need those on the easy trail, but we'll see. All right, here we go. We are entering gulches. This is kind of a big little bump here. Ooh. Ooh, this one. <laughs> nice, right up and over that without a problem. Even though we were on the green trail, it didn't mean we couldn't admire some of the other Jeeps taking the harder lines. Yeah, we, uh, we skipped that obstacle. <laughs> so far, it's been great. It's pretty smooth. Like, I mean, we're, we're shifted around, but we're not getting like thunked around or anything. But... Captain's having a good time. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> Up and over. Not bad. So far, there's been no tire slippage. Um, no, no issues at all. It's just, you know, obviously a lot of articulation and angles and ruts and things like that. But it has been a, uh, a really fun drive so far. And uh, I'm excited about it. Captain probably not as excited about it. Uh -oh, where do we go from here? All right, give me the map. As we pulled up to this section, we found some Jeeps doing some of the harder lines and stopped to watch them too. It was pretty impressive. We, uh, we stopped to watch some awesome. Get it!
these XJs were absolutely crushing this trail. And these kids were having an absolute blast driving this buggy through. As we got back on the trail, I made the mistake of blindly following the jeep in front of me, not really paying attention to what trail we were getting on. And little did I know, this was probably going to be the biggest obstacle of the day. Oh, I know where we are, I know where we are, I know where we are, I know where we are. Good. I know. Okay, so we were right up there, that's where that. That's where we were. Yeah. Um, and that's where there was all four of those. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, now we're on Twister. We're passing Twister, we're not on Twister. Yeah, we're just passing Twister. Yeah, I see you, Twister, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Cappy Cap. So far, everything has been good. It's fun. It's definitely, you know, a, uh, a fun trail. Nothing that has seemed to challenge the Jeep a whole lot yet. But we're still on easy, right? We're still kind of feeling this out getting a feel for for ground clearance and breakover angles and all that stuff like I want it still stock so I want to make sure we're not doing anything too dumb right away but um, it's been a lot of fun oh here's a good little section as I say about things get a little bouncy no, you're just like, <laughs> we're trying not to be too dumb what's that you doing yeah. the river really by I hope we're not taking the harder line. <laughs> that looks like a very steep decline. Oh boy. You just can't, oh, you just can't see. Ooh. Oh. Probably should have taken the other one. All right, well, here we go. All right, so we may have accidentally taken a slightly harder line than we intended. back But we're gonna try it. We're you know, we're on Rubicon. We got this. We're just going to go nice and slow. We're going to scrape a little bit. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was amazing. That was. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. That was awesome. So this, this is what we just accidentally came down. That is, I'm going to show you this Jeep coming through. Watch out. Watch out. We're going to show you this Jeep coming through so you can see what we just went through. It's like that's like waist high on will. That's like that's it's like waist to chest high on will. That's crazy. Uh, what is that? That looks all kinds of freaking sketchy. Well, maybe cross that sketchy place. All right. <laughs> Maybe we're back on track. We'll no idea. All right, so it should be pretty close to here. 
Okay, we're back. We're back on the green. We took a little detour. <laughs> Tried to figure out where we were. We ended up on a blue. Yeah. But that that was fun. We did it. I don't know that we want to do a lot of those today based on that particular obstacle. But this this is more I think our stock speed right now. Mm. This is good. This is there's some good hill climbs. There's lots of like moguls and things and ruts and some other stuff to play on so it, it definitely gives you the sense of being off-road but you know particularly in a stock vehicle you feel fairly fairly safe about it um you know way better than any kind of forestry road you definitely have to be in at least four wheel high i think but uh and the sway bars being disconnected is is definitely a bonus here too so we're just going to keep doing this for a while and kind of get a sense but yeah it's been fun what do you think will yeah it's been really fun After finishing the trail the first time, we decided to go back through and hit a couple slightly harder obstacles. I think we should try that little rock garden over here. I mean, that's probably a terrible idea, but I don't even know if I have a choice. We've decided to try a little bypass. It's not really a bypass, but it's sort of the rock garden on the green. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Oh, goodness. All right, we might have to put our lockers on. All right, we did it. Four low and lockers on, but no problem. And just when we were finishing up, I found out how easily I gave in to peer pressure. I pulled up on some of my friends from the Jeep Club, and man, they talked me into going on some blue trails that I just didn't think I was going to do. What's up? What's up? I thought I saw you go There in. you are, yeah. But you're headed out if you want to jump in. Yeah, which way are you going? I'm, I don't think I can handle blue trails yet. Why not? You got a Rubicon. Well, I don't know what the blue trails are like, but the small little section I accidentally ended up on seemed kind of scary. <laughs> the Rubicon. All right, we'll follow you. We'll see what happens. Bye. Oh, gosh.
Yo, you look like you were dropping a lot of fluid back there for a little bit. Yeah. Did your gas gauge work? No. I don't know what it was, but if you can see it, it's all over the back bumper now. I mean, it, it was pouring out. I was really nervous about these blue trails that we were doing in my stock Jeep, but I trusted the guys I was with, and after some good spotting, throwing on some lockers, the Jeep made it up just fine, and I was super impressed. <laughs> the Jeep in front of me ended up with a gas leak, but after a quick trailside fix, he was on his way. All right, so we just completed our first section of Blue Trail, and yeah, it was uh, it was pretty awesome. The Jeep did it, which was great. I was a little concerned. Uh, would love to be a little bit higher, so maybe a lift and a little bit bigger tires, but it did it without any real issue. Um, I think I scraped a little bit on the side steps that are not the factory rockers. So anyway, uh, basically, you know, that's it. We did it. All in all. I think we definitely earned our Jeep badge on this trip. Walked away with just a touch of trail damage, just a little scrape on the back bumper, uh, and that was pretty much it. But um, yeah, it was. It's been such a great day. And uh, Will, you've been enjoying it. Yeah. 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 You want to say anything else? I don't know. All right, well, that's pretty much going to do it. We had a blast today supporting the veterans on this ride, learning what a stock JKU Rubicon can do. Uh, but now it's time to head home, so we will see you in the next video.